I'm Miss McClure, and I'm so happy to be here to read some poems to you today. They're from a series called My Book House, and this selection is volume three, titled Up One Pair of Stairs. The first poem is short and sweet, and I'll show you the picture as I read it. School is over, oh what fun. Lessons finished, play begun. Who will run fastest, you or I? Who will laugh loudest? Let us try. And this author is Kate Greenway. The next poem is called The Swing. How do you like to go up in a swing, up in the air so blue? Oh, I do think it the pleasantest thing ever a child can do. Up in the air and over the wall till I can see so wide. Rivers and trees and cattle and all over the countryside. Till I look down on the garden green, down on the road so brown. Up in the air I am flying again, up in the air and down. And this one is by Robert Louis Stevenson. Our next poem is called The Shaking of the Pear Tree by Dinah M. Mulock Craik. Of all days I remember, in summers passed away, was the shaking of a pear tree in Grandma's orchard gay. A large old-fashioned orchard with long grass underfoot and blackberry brambles crawling in many a tangled shoot. From cherry time till damsons dropped from the branches sere, that wonderful old orchard was full of fruit all year. We picked it up in baskets or plucked it from the wall, but the shaking of the pear tree was the grandest tree of all. So off we started gaily, heedless of jolt and jar, through town and lane and hamlet and old Llewellyn's car. The patient, kind Llewellyn, whose broad face smiled all o'er, as we lifted out the children at Grandma's very door. And there stood Grandma's Betty, with cheeks like apples red, and dashed the spaniel waddled out of his cozy bed. I hope no child will vex us as we vexed Betty then, with winding up the draw well or hunting the old hen, and teasing, 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 till afternoon wore round, and shaken pears came tumbling in showers upon the ground. Oh, how we jumped and shouted, Oh, how we plunged amid the long grass where the treasures dropped down and deftly hid. This poem is by a very famous Indiana poet, and his name is James Whitcomb Riley, and this is called The Brook Song. Little brook, little brook, you have such a happy look and such a very merry manner as you swerve and curve and crook and your ripples one and one reach each other's hands and run like laughing little children in the sun. Little brook, sing to me, sing about a bumblebee that tumbled from a lily bell and grumbled mumblingly because he wet the film of his wings and had to swim while the water bugs raced round and laughed at him. Little brook, sing a song of a leaf that sailed along down the golden braided center of your current swift and strong and a dragonfly that lit of the tilting rim of it and rode away and wasn't scared a bit. Our last 